Hey guys, so this is a little 3D printed TARDIS. Now this was printed in blue flash forge filament and we've got a little light at the top. That bit was printed with the transparent filament that I've got and it's hiding a little five millimetre LED that's sort of just shoved inside. So it's, it's large enough to fit the cone of that LED. Now inside, we've got a little lithium battery, lithium, uh, lithium polymer battery, sorry. Um, and it's a 14500 cell. So it's the same size as an AA battery, but it kicks out 3.7 volts nominal. And we've also got a little 80 tiny 85. Now you can use a 555 timer to blink an LED and stick a capacitor on there to have it slowly dim. But um, I wanted to have it at a certain period interval and also I wanted the fade to look a bit nicer so I did that. I also thought that maybe I could add some other things later on, maybe attach a speaker to the AT Tiny and, uh, and get a sound effect coming out but it's an awful lot of fun printing things and then making them real, making them uh, interactive with electronics. So now we get to the real nerd stuff. If you wanted to use the 555 timer um, it does have to be powered by 5 volts to 9 volts and that's why I didn't pick it really. Uh, it didn't really look good enough at uh, 4 volts so which is what my lithium battery was kicking out so I decided against using it and the reason is that inside this 555 timer are the two voltage comparators that's on pin 6 and 2 and um, they trigger at certain levels so it will trigger at about 5.5 volts and uh, it would trigger the the pin 3 the output um, would trigger at about 2 volts so it would sort of ping pong back and forth now this is the circuit so you can see here we've just got it hooked up to 9 volts I'll show you it breadboarded up in a second and uh, the trigger is charging up this capacitor here which in turn goes to this uh, transistor this NPN transistor turning on our LED now as I said it does need to be powered via a 9 volt battery or a 5 volt power source and you'll see it does work quite well so you can see it's fading in and out it doesn't go all the way off um, or if it does it's only for a fraction of uh, the time that it's actually on so it doesn't provide a full on off just more of a PWM type uh, display but without a fully off state so I decided against using that and instead went for this 80 tiny 85 uh, circuit which is an awful lot simpler so you'll see we've got just a lithium battery here and we've got our 80 tiny 85 in the breadboard um, and all we're doing is throwing power into pin 8 and then we've got ground into pin 4 and then we've got just a PWM pin which is pin 6 but in if you're going to be using the IDE it's referenced as pin 1 and that's flashing our LED and because it's a microcontroller I can tell it what frequency to flash it at so what PWM signal to throw in and also how long to wait before it does it the next time so I opted for this solution because I can run it on 3 to 5 volts now it's only drawing about 9 milliamps so actually this thing would last a very long time uh, with this battery here which is uh, it's rated at 900 milliamps I don't know how much it really holds but um, it would last a really, really long time, so I'm very excited to uh, just sort of leave it on the shelf and see how long it goes. There's no protection circuit, obviously, uh, because it's, it's pretty low rent, this tiny little bit of circuitry here. It's just an 80 tiny 85 pretty much. So thanks a lot for watching, and um, I'll see you soon with some more electronics and 3D printing.